Here's the real story of Frank Abagnale, the con man behind Catch Me If You Can. At the age of 16 to 17, Frank Abagnale claims that he was a pilot, but that's impossible because at the age of 16, Frank Abagnale enlisted in the Navy and then dropped out two months later. After his brief military career, he was arrested multiple times in New York. He was also arrested in Eureka, California for stealing a car. At the age of 18, Frank Abagnale claims he was a doctor. He says he worked the overnight shift at Cobb General Hospital in Georgia as a supervisory pediatrician. But the truth is that Cobb General Hospital didn't even have an overnight shift at the time. And how could he pose as a doctor while incarcerated at Great Meadows Correctional Institute in Comstock, New York? At the age of 19, Frank Abagnale says he was a lawyer in Louisiana. He says he passed the Louisiana bar and worked under the Baton Rouge state attorney. But how could he do that if he was still sitting in prison in New York? Also, there is no proof of him ever passing the bar exam. After he left Comstock, Abagnale was released on parole and lived with his mother, Paulette. He was later rearrested in Boston. At the age of 20, Frank Abagnale claims he was a professor at Brigham Young University. The truth is that Abagnale was sitting in a Massachusetts prison and returned to Comstock, New York to complete his sentence. He wasn't released from prison until December 1968. At the age of 21 to 22, Frank Abagnale claims that he moved to Europe and was arrested in France, serving six months in the Perpignan prison. But he wasn't in France. He was in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, ripping off a family and small businesses. He was arrested and convicted for theft and forgery. Eventually, Abagnale did visit France and Sweden when he was accused of theft. As a result, he served three months in France and two months in Sweden. He was deported back to the U.S. and despite his claim that the FBI was chasing him down for five years until the age of 21, well, that's not true because the whole chase lasted a total of hours when the FBI in Georgia arrested him. At the age of 23 to 25, Frank Abagnale says that he served three years in a Virginia prison for forging $2.5 million in bad checks. In reality, Frank Abagnale was convicted of cashing a little over $1,000 in Pan Am payroll checks. That's a far cry from the $2.5 million that he so famously claims. At the age of 26, Frank Abagnale says that he was recruited by the FBI and has been working with them for the last 45 years. But in reality, we have proof that Frank Abagnale was actually at a kid's summer camp in Texas stealing camera equipment. And then he faked his credentials so he could work at an orphanage, placing kids in family homes. There is absolutely zero proof that he has ever worked for the FBI. From the age of 28 and beyond, Frank Abagnale has made a lucrative career based off of his life story, which I just proved to you is a bunch of baloney. And he's charging companies twenty dollars to $30,000 a speech. If you want to hear the details of this investigation, listen to the Pretend Podcast, the series The Real Catch Me If You Can.